Hello and welcome to After LUTV. I'm your host, Travis Myers. Today, joining me are Caleb McFarland, Juan Rodriguez, and Charles Bray. Today, we'll be discussing the possibility of concealed carry on campus. That means concealed carry of guns. So, the Senate Bill 17 means that all CHL carriers will be able to carry on campus. CHL, Concealed Handgun License Carriers, be able to carry their arms on the campus. What do you think about that? What is your opinion? Having people with guns on campus. Uh, both of you are looking at me, guys. So, uh, we'll <laughs> We're start looking at you. Uh, I'd say it's, it's, it's a very good, very good bill that's been proposed up there at the House, and it's one of those things that it's finally a, you know, a good win for all the, the gun rights and you know, a way that as Americans we're able to protect ourselves outside of our homes and you know, also keep campuses safe. You know, as, as we've seen at other universities around the United States, we'll have on-school on shootings. And it's one of those things that we'll be able to help keep ourselves safe and help keep each other safe in a way. Well, it's a really touching subject because, I mean, I personally I have really mixed feelings about it. If, uh, you know, you start seeing two, three, four, or five different students with handguns and then there's a possible shooter, then the police, of course, is going to come and apparently shoot the, the person with a gun, and then you're going to get confused in who exactly has the gun and well, stuff like that. Well, the difference on that is you won't really see who has a gun because it's going to be concealed unless there is the active shooter situation. And if, you know, when law enforcement does arrive on scene and you have uh, students that have their CHL and, and even, you know, professors, then when, when the law enforcement shows up and they tell everyone, you know, hey, put the guns down, they're going to comply. And then when, in questioning, they'll pull out their CHL license. Hey, look, I have my license. This was the guy or gal that was a perpetrator. I'm not sure if there would be that much time to figure things out. Okay, everyone put your guns down and show me your licenses. Well, Yo, if, you don't have yours? Ha-ha, bang. Well, I mean, you know, it's... And that's how they're going to get them. When, when you're going to comply with the law, world, you know? maybe. Yeah, I, these, my feelings are a lot like Juan's. Mixed, mixed. mixed feelings. I mean, you don't, know, uh, you don't know who can possibly have a gun right now, and the, this bill hasn't even passed. So it's stuff like that that do really, I guess, hinder uh, when it comes to allowing everyone to bring guns to campus. Uh, what if, for example, what if the perfect student that has a 4.0 GPA and has the scholarship to Lamar comes to campus and he has a concealed carry, now, because of his lack of interest to one of the classes, he ends up failing the class. What if he comes oh in and goodness. just starts shooting the professor? I mean, that's a totally different okay. story. Well, for me personally, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm for it initially. Okay, now with that, you know, with the CHL regulations, there's rules and regulations just like everything else. Mm -hmm. Now, for me to be 100% on this bill, we're going to have to add more rules and regulations to, so that we can make sure that we're controlling the university correctly and not just saying, you know, if you have a gun, go ahead and bring it and be, ca be crazy with it. Uh, because, you know, initially, even to have your CHL, I've looked up, you know, I've had mine before, it expired, I have to get it again, but, you know, you have to have all these qualifications, you have to have a clear record, you have to pay the amount, you have to be 21 or in active duty if you're uh, 18, you, got, you can't be under protective order, you can't be chemically dependent, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that if you mess up, then you lose your CHL, and it's not like you've messed up in, you know, in life, you know, you just, you've lost your privilege to carry a concealed mm -hmm. weapon. So, you know, with that, the, everybody who brings their gun to school, once, once the CHL's, you know, approved and everything, they take on this role, they take on this responsibility, and it's up to them, you know, to keep it. So, if, you know, for me personally, if it did work, I have a CHL, I probably still wouldn't bring my gun to school for that reason, you know, because, you know, for me, it's protection, but I feel like in a university environment, I should be already protected by the police. But if they can have the proper rules and regulations, you know, added into it to make sure that we're, you know, maybe they have a university class where everybody who wants to bring their gun, you know, for CHL, you mm -hmm. have to have your CHL first. Then you have to meet with the university and meet their specifications. And then the university will also have a list of who is all armed on campus. So, I mean, I really think it's a good idea, but it just needs to be worked through a little bit more. Right. That's, you know, I, I agree with you on that as, as far as, you know, there should be, if you have an interest to, to carry on campus that you should have to be able to you know pass requirements also not you know per the state and per you know the class for the CHS but also through Lamar University that way law enforcement on campus knows who has a CHL you know in that type of any situation 
they know how many students are on campus that have one and if they even really want to get in depth they'll kind of know where their schedule is which would be very you know intricate and a lot yeah. to keep up with that way they know yeah. who's where on campus i just think but some that, people that's might a little take that's a too far step like oh well he can carry a gun i'm gonna bring mine i don't need a license well, well for see it. here's then, the thing though travis how do you know if we walked in the setzer center right now that there's not people with a handgun on them even without a chl even you know with or without a chl mm -hmm. they could be carrying a gun in their backpack on their shoulder hip wherever we don't know that and that's the you know that's the unknown threat that we face you know on campus in the mall in public just anywhere and you know even driving down the road because uh, I've always been told that it's legal to carry a gun in your car concealed because it's considered an extension of your home I have a confession to make I am actually carrying right now oh really Car carrying right here two guns <laughs> I've been working out oh. at the gym and I've been well, you can't really tell you got a permit um, <laughs> uh, permits don't even cover these, so <laughs> I just have to be careful with them. So that is all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us with After LUTV. And remember, if this bill passes, don't try to be a hero. And uh, thanks, thank you for everything. Yeah, yeah. Have a wonderful day. Well, I'm going to have to get get away from your guns. Yeah. The amount of paperwork to <laughs> alone yeah. shit after that is...